Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Avionics sales up, but only slightly in the first quarter of 2017. SpaceX may send two unmanned spacecraft to Mars. And an iFlight Planner releases iFlight Planner for iPad version 3.0. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom, it's May 17th, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. It's the tiniest bit of good news, but it is good news. In the first three months of the year, total worldwide business and GA avionics sales amounted to $566,179,708.61, or more than $566 million as reported by the participating companies in the first quarter 2017 avionics market report released by AEA. The figure represented a 0.01% increase in sales compared to the first quarter 2016 amount of $566,098,705.96. Although the sales amount was nearly identical to the first three months of 2016, it marked the first time since the fourth quarter of 2015 that sales increased during the same period from the previous year, snapping a string of seven consecutive quarterly reports showing a decrease in sales from the previous year. Of the more than 566 million in first quarter 2017 sales, 57% came from the retrofit market, avionics equipment installed after original production, while forward fit sales, avionics equipment installed by airframe manufacturers during original production, amounted to 43% of first quarter sales. Paula Dirks, president AEA said, this quarter offers mixed reviews as industry saw a substantial decrease in forward fit sales offset by a larger increase in retrofit sales. SpaceX will not be ready to launch an unmanned Dragon spacecraft to Mars next year, but that has opened up the opportunity to launch two spacecraft to the Red Planet in 2020. SpaceX founder Elon Musk has acknowledged that the technology for an unmanned mission to Mars will not be ready till next year. But with that delay comes the possibility, even likelihood, that two dragons may fly to Mars the next time the orbits of Mars and Earth provide for a relatively short transit. There is a favorable launch window to Mars every 26 months, and right now there are a lot of missions planned for the 2020 cycle. NASA also plans to launch a lander to Mars in 2020. While SpaceX has not confirmed that there will be two Mars missions in 2020, a company spokesman said that it is definitely under consideration. SpaceX plans to use a technique called supersonic retropropulsion to make its landing on Mars. The spacecraft would be the heaviest to land on Mars at about six tons. Curiosity weighed only about one ton when it touched down on the Martian surface. SpaceX believes that supersonic retropulsion will be a key to colonizing Mars. After the break, iFlight Planner announces a major upgrade. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. 
iFlight Planner for iPad version 3.0 has debuted. The app for iPad now offers compatibility with ADS-B devices from seven different manufacturers, Dual, Laville, Sage Tech, SkyRadar, Stratix, L3, and Navworks. Andy Matthews, director of business iFlight Planner said, we were the first to bring wireless sync technology to the EFB market when we first introduced iFlight Planner for iPad. This new version of the app gives pilots the tools they need to make their flight planning process safer and much more efficient than any other product. This new version further distinguishes iFlight Planner as a leader in cloud-based flight planning, making it the sole EFB with comprehensive two-way sync of pilot information, aircraft profiles, routes, weather briefs, weight and balance calculations, flight plan filing status, and digital flight track and logbook data between your iPad and the web. Pilots are encouraged to take advantage of the 30-day free trial to iFlight Planner Premium Plus, iFlight Planner's top-level membership. After the trial, pilots may elect to continue with an iFlight Planner Free, iFlight Planner Premium, or iFlight Planner Premium Plus membership. With some 3,000 Aerial TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aerial TV classic episodes. Our latest innovation preview was undertaken in support of the annual AVUVSI Exponential Convention and Trade Show. This Exponential Innovation Preview is loaded with disruptive technologies that will drive the future of all things unmanned. Search 2017 Exponential Innovation Preview on Errol TV's news channel. After these messages, WestJet pilots vote to join ALPA. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The more than 1,400 pilots at WestJet have voted for representation by the Airline Pilots Association International. With 97% of eligible pilots participating in the election, 62% voted in favor of joining the world's largest pilot union. North Shore Community College in Danvers, Massachusetts has announced that the Beverly Flight Center, NSCC's Aviation Science Program Flight School, has joined the NSCC in receiving FAA Part 141 authorization. There are several benefits to this. The program is now eligible to apply for FAA reduced ATP minimums as well as VA reimbursements. Dr. Hilton Goldstein, CEO and Chief Architect of the Hilton Software, has been named the winner of a Gold Stevie Award for Executive of the Year in the Aerospace and Defense category in the 15th Annual American Business Awards. Dr. Goldstein also won Silver Stevie Awards in two other categories. For the first time in four years, a new team has won NASA's student launch, the agency's high-powered rocketry challenge, hosted by and held near NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, April 5th through 8th. The River City Rocketry Team from the University of Louisville in Louisville, Kentucky, captured top honors. They took home a cash prize of $5,000 offered by Orbital ATK. The SES-10 satellite is now fully operational at 67 degrees west and will be serving the thriving markets in the Latin American region. SES-10 was launched on March 30, 2017 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on board a flight-proven SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. 
The satellite is the first geostationary commercial satellite ever launched on a flight-proven first-stage rocket booster. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. EASA has certified the Game Bird GB-1, a full composite airplane design for full aerobatic up to plus or minus 10 G. It has two seats in tandem configuration and can be used for aerobatic training and competition in all aerobatic levels. Game Composites is a young European design organization based in the UK. The certification of the GB1 was completed in only four years, which is remarkable. Into account the amount of technological innovation involved and the size of the design organization. The design goals aim at providing pilots with a competitive airplane in terms of handling characteristics, performance, and cockpit comfort while giving special attention to the manufacturing costs. The certification of the GB1 Gamebird airplane from Game Composites paves the way for design and certification of new technologically advanced general aviation aeroplanes. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>